Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. The number two mistake people make when starting seeds indoors, especially tomatoes, is they do not give them enough light at the point in time when the seeds germinate and break the surface. These lights are somewhere between two and three inches above the seedlings. Today is December 1st. It's been seven days since I planted these tomatoes. They went in tomato seeds. They went in on 11 24 and within really the fifth day they started to germinate. If the lights are not this close, a couple inches above them, and they're not on at least 16 hours, your tomato seedlings, here's a popsicle stick to give you an idea of how tall they are, are going to get tall and leggy. The stem basically, the tomato basically is reaching for the light when you're up at 6, 8, 12 inches and the stem gets really long and they become leggy. That's when they get tall, thin, kind of scraggly and fall over because they're reaching for their light. All their growth is going into the stem essentially, not upper top uh, leaf growth. So the way to rectify this is to make sure you have your lights two to three inches above the germinating seeds. And I recommend turning your lights on on day three. They don't cost a lot of money to run. Most seeds won't germinate within three days. They'll start germinating around the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh day based on the temperatures of your house. But the germinating seed up here is one as a good example. When it breaks the surface like that, it needs to hit light or it's going to get really tall and thin and you're going to be disappointed. So what's the right amount of light? So to keep it simple, what I recommend is leave these lights on for 24 hours it's okay. The extra light is not going to harm your plant. When in doubt, give them more light. So they break the surface on day five. We're going uh, into day eight tomorrow. For that four days, they're getting 24 hours of light. And that's just so they green up, they stop reaching for the light, they put out their leaves, they start getting uh, more leaf growth, they're nice and stocky, and they're good to go. After three or four days of leaving the lights on 24 hours, I recommend going to 16 hours on, eight hours off. Do that two to three weeks. Really depends on you know, how the plants are growing. And then you can begin to reduce the light thereafter. If you want to see more about seed starting, I will link my complete playlist from last year at the end of the video and in the video description and you can get more details on this. But the key to successful seed starts is giving them a ton of light at germination. I will also link the number one mistake which is essentially putting in starting mix that has fungus nets. So even if you get great seed starts, if you have fungus nets in your mix they're going to eat the roots, they're going to damage your plants and that's why that was the number one mistake. Thanks for watching. Hope this gives you some quick information to help you ensure that you get great seed starts and transplants for your vegetable garden. Thanks for watching.